Hey guys, Trifles of Doom here, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, Kamashita confessed. Hooray! And we're gonna sell a medal and get and eat a bunch off of it. So yay! Also, I still need to return that uh book uh, to the library. Uh, later. For now. Apparently, I'll nearly choke on my own saliva. Uh, and let's watch Guy McVer. How how subtle of a reference. There's sulfur leaking from the tank. We need to do something fast. It's fine. I'll just use this chocolate. See? The acid and the sugar are reacting. Uh. Wow. And how does that even physics? Hey, hey. Hmm. Yay, two more points of proficiency. I'll have to craft more of our tools to up that even more later. We will watch the second half of that movie some other time. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's see what Sojiro wants. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of pressured you into doing this. It's fine. And now to our next topic: Fall from Grace, the story of a dishonored Olympic medalist. Just recently, a high school coach confessed at an assembly that he had been repeatedly abusing students. Given his prior Olympic achievements, this has caused quite a stir. What caused this habitual offender to suddenly confess these heinous crimes to his entire school? The police are hoping that the upcoming interrogations will bring light to this question. Isn't this... Hmm? My friends would come back from practice with bruises all the time. It was scary, but I'm relieved that the abuse is finally going to end now. Hmm. He would touch me and stuff all the time. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that sexual harassment anymore. There were always rumors, sure. Not many people believed them, though. Like, I'm totally shocked they were actually true. At least now I can go to school without worrying. I knew it. This is your school, isn't it? Yep. And uh, things might be getting turbulent at school, but you need to just keep your head down, all right? I know. More importantly, keep those hands moving. I've got some more stuff I need you to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Oi. Man. That he did. Hmm? I did. Yeah, no, they, they, they even cut the faces out from all the students to keep them anonymous. I do like how they added a news broadcast about it, too. That was a nice touch. Yeah. Because, yeah, that wasn't in, in the vanilla either. Right. We gotta sell that metal tomorrow. Okay. Let's finish off, uh... Whoa. Let's finish off Guy McVer. Get that proficiency up more. Damn, they shut off the power. How are we going to rig an alarm now? Whoever said you need electricity to make an alarm? Give me that empty soda can. I'll just tie it to this string. Huh. Hmm. Classic can on a string alarm. Oh. All right. Hmm. More proficiency. Yes. All right. Okay. Sweet, now all we need to do is up our uh, knowledge and uh, kindness. Make sure to do the 
dishes. I can't right now. <sighs> Don't get cocky with me. Welcome. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Huh. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh, is that the thing everyone's been talking about? Seems like it. Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Who knows? Hmm. Leaving that aside. What do you have? <laughs> I'll have the house blend, please. Are you a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. Uh, no. <laughs> not exactly. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? Shujin. Oh, someone I know goes there as well. Oh, really? Huh. I've heard that things are rough right now. Yeah. A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. Yeah, I was I was there. And it happened all of a sudden one day. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Huh. <sighs> Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up. Hmm. All right then. All right. Today's the day we turn in that metal for cash. Yep. You know some place that'll buy it off you, right? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Do, do. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Chibuya. Central Street. Why are there so few warp points here? Fine. Well, I'm going to return the DVD real quick. Hi hey there. Hey. All right. Works for me. Um, okay. Um, all right. Sure. I've done shady shit before. This is nothing new, I guess. Sorry, but it's uh, none of your business. <laughs> See ya. Yep. Have a have a good day, EY. Huh. <sighs> He's an interesting one. What were those detectives doing there? Yeah, we'll find. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find out later. More importantly. Aren't you curious about what's in the bag? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna look. There's no harm in a little peek. 
Morgana, you're a bad influence. Come on, let's open it up. A real gun? Wait, I think it's just a model. It's incredible, though. Miles ahead of the one Ryuji had. No kidding. There's something weird about that place. I lost him. I just had a great idea. We should totally buy this gun from him later. I'll ask him about it. I mean, it's perfect. Something this real looking would work wonders in the metaverse. You have a point. Anyway, he told you to bring it back the next time you came, right? Yeah. You should try striking a deal with him when we go to return it. Hmm, all right. That could prove useful. Hmm? Oh, what's up, Bon? Oh, hello, it's me. I saw the news. You know, about Kamoshida. Yep. It's getting a lot of coverage. Yeah, it... Uh, how do you feel? Uh, I don't know. The reaction's been bigger than what I was expecting. I guess I'm just... surprised. I mean, he was a medalist. I don't think we did anything wrong, though. I wonder if we helped those people speak up about it. I'm sure we did. Oh wow, exactly what I just said. That's pretty amazing, huh? I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it. Hmm. And yet, look at us now. This calls for a celebration. Well, it's a good thing I just got that yen. Let's meet in front of Shibuya Station at noon tomorrow. Don't be late. Of course. Oh, and did you pawn off that medal? You didn't forget, right? It's, I remembered. Good to hear. I already made reservations. You should be really excited about the place I chose, by the way. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Well, see you guys tomorrow. Later. Ah, today's go. This went well. Ah, a restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Are you, hey, are you saying Sojiro's curry isn't decent? Hey, what do you think we're gonna be eating? Hmm. Sushi? Ooh. Tuna, sea urchin, maybe even salmon roe. God. I, I, I want sushi case, again. I'm surely looking forward to it. <laughs> that was a laugh recording. Cassandra had fun with the with the cat noises. <laughs> Alright. I know we can't, we didn't return the DVD, so let's just read. Or actually. How are we looking on our stats again? Uh, yeah, actually, that, yeah, let's study. Yo. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Let's study. Make sure your clothes up. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Two points. Hell yeah. We're getting there. Chose this place. So delicious. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah. I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. Yeah, we, we'll work it. We'll, we'll work it out. But we got him pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like. Phantom thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. Hmm? What the? the Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Your 
No, oh, that's not saying you're Oshiku. I'm dumb. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Huh. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels strange. It's nice. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Continue eating. Mm. Well, of course I'm gonna eat, but <gasps> this place has a time limit. Oh crap! We only got an hour to eat. Just 50 minutes left. Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace. I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu. Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys too. Don't worry. All right. Oh man, God melts in my mouth. Seriously, only meat? Hey, he knows what he likes. Now where should I start? And she's all about the cake. I don't blame her. So happy. <laughs> hey, calories. Shut up. <laughs> Chance to do this again. Mm, the Wilton Hotel cake buffet. I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing. Uh, is it? Did you have, would happen to have a slice of cheesecake there, would you? And where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. Ryuji, the fuck, man? Beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. So helpful. M more beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up, but it should probably still taste good. Oh my god. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. All right, leave it to me. That's reassuring. I know exactly what I like. <laughs> you guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese. They're not even listening. Ah, oh, don't worry about them. Now what should we get? As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel. The ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. Yeah, no kidding. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Of course you'd say that. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? Hmm. Meats. The giant does ooh, those are some that's some good fondue. Hey, there's a fish. Ooh, look, there's the fish. I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great too. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamashita fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Boy, people were affected by that! Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Apparently. Hmm. Shoot, they noticed you. Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. True. Oh, how did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope you didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan free. Thank you very much. Wait, we earned the money to come here. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Let's. 
Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. Let's see. The dessert table? Oh, up close, it looks even bigger and more delicious. This giant, sweet... I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamoshida got his ass kicked by some world-reforming heroes. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Guess the rumors are spreading, too. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? No, so you're like a tabloid kind of thing. So they don't believe themselves. But they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. <laughs> hmm? Well, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! Hey, no, I got you covered there. I love whipped cream. What's wrong? Ah, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us. That's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. That was a little close. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. I do have a cat in my bag. Hmm. I wonder how the other people... Alright, so let's see. Where next? Hmm? Let's get ourselves some... Hmm? Rice? Rice is incredible! It's the cornerstone of every great meal! Yep. Sorry. I got a bit carried away there. <laughs> so, the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Now that's a rude way to describe it. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. Yeah, seriously. Way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. Well, all right, then. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Yep. Hmm. And more. Hmm. Hmm. Salads. Hmm. I wonder how... Okay, not salads. Hmm. I know there's meat dishes. I'm trying to activate the meat dish prompt. There it is. Oh, meat! I'm no Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any. I got distracted. You keep doing that. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. Yep. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. It was pretty fucking serious to us. We should probably look into it. But we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Nope. Hmm? Yeah, grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty. Well, don't you like fatty tuna? It's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going, too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. They were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. Yep. I don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on. Doesn't seem like it. But it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Yeah, a lot of them just seem jaded. Now, according to what we heard... It seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Yeah. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, let's head back to the others. Let's. You brought a ton back! Yep. What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? I just want to eat. 
I was thinking that too, but take a bite. Using better ingredients makes stuff taste way different. Well, obviously. <laughs> Look at you, acting like you have a refined palate all of a sudden. Huh? Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... Knowing when we'll get to come here again. Sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? <sighs> well, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. Yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever. Let's deal with this ourselves. <laughs> nom nom noms. Who? There's still more. Good lord, is there a meat dimension here? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We we did it. Uh somehow. God. Oh yeah. This is a victory for all of us. <sighs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> good job, you guys. How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I'm good. I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. Uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. All right. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. I'll try. My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I mean, you're not wrong, but fuck you anyway. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. Okay, now especially fuck you. What was that? We don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Right. I'm stuffed. Same. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? <laughs> hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? Should be. Oi! What the? There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. Hmm. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it. Hey, you're cutting in line. What do you want? Uh, we were here first. We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? Oh, well, excuse you, too. What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Oh. Oh, no, that's just rude. Wait. That, that voice. That bossy guy. Shouldn't we head back down? But that dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. Ugh, th that voice, I swear, I should know who that was. Wait. No. What's wrong? Uh, I, um, d don't worry about it. That's just gonna make me worry more, you know. 
I bet it's because he rarely eats well. I'm always stuck with canned cat food, too. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! Huh, <sighs> that's uh. That's something to think on later. What took you so long? We ran into someone. Pissy? Sorry. I had a run in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, though. But the restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. Uh. I wonder if we're out of place here. Yeah, we kind of are. Yeah, it always feels like this, honestly. Hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. What? Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? I think I know where. And I'm kind of agreeing with him. We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, have a point there. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people. Yeah, you know what? There are a lot of victims. I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Hmm. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? Yeah. You know what? We should. But that means we'll have to fight shadows again, doesn't it? Yeah, we just get stronger. Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Yeah. I want to help people. Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. In a way. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Right. Are you okay being our leader? Of course. No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. And I believe you on that. <laughs> Where's my say in this? But Lady Ann made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Also, you know, the fact that I can wield multiple personas, so me being the one in charge of strategy is probably the best to move. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? Oh, yeah. yeah. I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Hmm. Ooh, I got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. Uh, how about the diamonds? <laughs> eh, not bad, but eh, not my thing. I'm getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about Tilefish Poilet? The fuck? Tile, uh, what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Morgana. Oh no, you idiot. <sighs> you decide for us. All right. Let's see. And with that, our team name will be... Not the Phantoms. Not the Phantoms. That's too generic. We will be... Okay, what the fuck? I thought that was a space.
Oh, duh. Will be. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, this is gonna take a bit. <laughs> will be the Crusaders. Naming it after my group of online friends who I make videos with. Because why would I not? Crusaders. Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? There are mm. tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Like a CEO? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some big wig, it's gotta get on the news, right? You know what? You have a good point there. Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Yeah, we need to do our research. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Yep, good old unanimous decision. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves organization. To the Crusaders. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Yep. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? Yep. And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. It's all true. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Perhaps. Perhaps? Don't take me for a fool. Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual. A master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Madarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. Hmm. Well, that's... That's another long story. Hmm. Yep. I'm sure we'll find out later. Yeah, that's better than I expected, honestly.
Hmm. There you go. Well. Ooh, and we unlocked that. All right, well, we'll have to explore that next time for it is late. But yeah. With all that said, this has been the Triforce of Doom. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.